creating data models in JSON or YAML is a great experience. Their easy-to-use syntax helps you structure your data quickly. They are also easy to parse by computers. But depending on the size, it can get a little confusing for humans to see the big picture. Thanks to VS Code and Plant UML, you can visualize this data in a human-friendly manner. So either if you want to visualize your Kubernetes files, or your data models as you build them, Plant UML can quickly help you on this task. To get that to work, first it is necessary to add Plant UML to the VS Code. For this, go to the Extensions tab. In the search box, search for Plant UML and see the first extension. Before you install the extension, if you are using a Windows machine, follow the instructions on the extension page. If you are on Windows, install Chocolate, a package manager tool for Windows, and run choco install plant uml. If you are using a Mac, use Homebrew to install Tamurin and Graphis. Then you can click in install on the extension. Getting back to the explorer tab, let's say we want to create an app to build slides on the web. To start, we will define an API where users can save their slides. We create the file with WSD extension. The first thing to add in the file is the at start JSON and at end JSON tags. And right click to preview the current diagram. Initially, it's going to be empty. The JSON goes inside of this tag. The JSON contains a user, slides that contain title, subtitle, and content. Continuing, we add content position, images, with their URL and position, rotation and zoom, a theme used in each of the slides, notes, dates of creation, and latest update. With this, we can jump to showing how it works with YAML files. Let's get an example of a real Kubernetes Nginx deployment with three replicas. As we declare at start YAML and at end YAML and paste the YAML file inside of these tags, the diagram is presented almost immediately. Getting back to the JSON diagram, you could add styles to the script, but personally, I prefer a different approach. When I finish building the diagram, I right-click and choose Export Current Diagram and select SVG. If you embed the SVG directly in an HTML file, you can style it using regular CSS. For this, let's open the SVG, copy the content inside the SVG tag including the SVG tag, and paste it into the body tag of a regular HTML page. Then, add the style tag and set properties for the SVG tags. The properties are text, rect, line, and so on. Notice that the names of the properties are different for SVG elements. For example, SVG elements have stroke and fill properties. Stroke is for the line around the object. Fill is for the color inside of the object. But font and text shadow, for example, are the same. In my case, I added a Google font, 3D rotation, and other CSS properties to get to this final version that I'm going to show now. This can be an important resource for live documentations or to share your understanding with stakeholders and also your team. The good thing is that these are code files, so it's easy to change and update, and even version control. If you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I hope to see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching.